Well, this school year, Low Country students and faculty and staff are attending classes, training sessions for active threats. They're all taking place for all levels of school staff, from the custodial to principals. News 2's Dorchester County reporter Danielle Seda gives us a recap of what happened today. This morning, District 2 faculty members spent their morning in a classroom. During this training session, they were taught all about methods of protection, including barricading, fighting, flight, and first aid. This particular program empowers people with the ability to make decisions in which they get to take their lives in their own hands. This school year, students won't be the only ones in a classroom setting. We've been in the process of training all 3,000 of our um, district employees. And really everybody in general should be trained on how to respond in case you're ever in that type of situation. This includes front office staff. These victims are not always just teachers and students. So a lot of times when a shooter comes through the door or anybody that intends to do harm comes through the door, the office staff is going to be the first people that they encounter. Most active threats, including Sandy Hook and the Orlando Pulse shooting, were evaluated during the class. Audience members tell me that these tips and tricks for defense were not only useful for inside a school, but for outside one as well. Um, the fact that this happens mostly in businesses and not as much in schools as you would think, and how much time that we spend out in businesses and in restaurants and in theaters, this was very good information. I was very impressed. Some of the main takeaways for the faculty members were learning how to lock out intruders, treating injuries, and combating threats with decision-making power. This craziness never happened before, so you really didn't think about an active shooter coming in, but now, you see it all the time, so it, it really makes a difference. It makes you think a little more about protecting yourself and others. With each training session, the school district is hoping to provide their staff with tips, techniques, and the option to use the time that they have in the most efficient manner. There's no more policy that says you just hide in place and wait for somebody to come get you. Uh, they're allowed to be active in their own destinies. The next scheduled training session is set to take place on October 18th for the teachers in the district. In Somerville, Danielle Seda, Count on Two.